much fun this is. It's a festive event in Chinatown. The annual firecracker run, walk, and bike ride are coming up this weekend, and thousands of people are expected at the events. We're joined now by Jennifer G. She's a board member with the Chinatown Firecracker, uh, and Roger Ahn, who's a legacy runner about to do his 46th race. Welcome to both of you. Thanks for being Thank here. Thanks for having us. Um, so, Jennifer, tell us a little bit about the genesis of this, when it began, and obviously it's a really popular event. Yes. Um, so it was founded decades ago. This is our 46th year, which is super exciting. Um, it's the year of the dragon, which is extra special to us. Mm -hmm. But Saturday, we have our bike ride. So it's 20, 50 mile and also our um, power dog walk uh, for the dogs. Ooh, I and like then, that. Yeah. And then on Sunday, we have our 5K, 10K. It's a walk and a run. Um, and then we also have something for the kids. So there's a 1K kitty run as well on Sunday. Amazing. And Roger, you have been taking part in this for a long time. What keeps you coming back? I was just saying off camera, like you must be in really good shape. Yeah, well, not as good as I used to. But uh, when I first moved to LA with a roommate, he saw the um, announcement of the Chinatown 10K. He said, let's sign up. So we signed up, we ran it, and it was a very enjoyable run. You can see views from Elysian Park at the peak of LA that you haven't seen from other places. And um, we came back and had a little bit of Chinese food in Chinatown too. That sounds really Over good. Over the years, though, we've had friends from this uh, Asian American theme dorm in Stanford since the early 70s, and um, they started coming. And we said, we're going to make this a focal point for social gathering for all of our friends. And so over the years, more people have come. My kids both ran, my daughter and son, in high school. And then uh, this year, actually, it's interesting because my daughter is going to fly down from San Francisco, run in it. And the, we have two uh, runners who's coming from uh, Washington State. And one of them is the original roommate that I had who was oh, going to run, also run in the first race. That is so great. I love that. So it's kind of a full circle thing. Yes. Very much community oriented. And, and I was asking you a little bit about the history in Chinatown. What does this mean? You said it's special because it's the year of the dragon. Tell me about the significance of it and why you do it. Yes. Um, so our family friend, he helped start it with his friends uh, back in 1979, um, but basically it was to celebrate the Lunar New Year. It started as a 10K with just a thousand participants, and now it's grown to four events across two days. But I think it means so much to just, again, you know, these multi-generational running families and just these multi-generational volunteering families. It's wonderful just to kind of see just how it's grown over the years. And Roger, you're talking about how it brings the community together in this amazing, magical way, and the proceeds benefit the community as well. Yes, yes, it's all volunteer run, so it's nonprofit. But the proceeds go to local organizations. For instance, there's several elementary schools in the area. And I think one of the bigger uh, areas that they're helping is the Senior Citizens Center mm. in Chinatown as well. Okay, so yeah. really fun, good cause, fireworks, Chinatown, Chinese food, it's all great. What's this? Is this an award? This is the first annual certificate that was given out oh, for the 10K wow. run from 1979. It's in such good condition. If yes. I had that, it would not be in that condition. <laughs> <laughs> from 1979. <laughs> but that's amazing that you kept it. Thank you both so much for being here. And good Thank luck. You. Thank you. And we should mention that KCBS and KCAL are the media sponsors for Saturday's events. And our own Amber Lee will be there as well. So you can go down and meet her. And for more information on the Firecracker events and how to take part, check out our website, kcalnews.com, and click Scene on TV. Jamie. What a great event.